end up doing the same thing, you know, whether it's your journey or my journey, we are all going through the same thing. And what happens is duality, which is like, you know, pleasure and pain is what creates the mood swings, right? Like for you, and the mood swings is because we want to be credited for what happens. We are looking for credibility. And um, so the, over the weekend, yesterday in uh, in Indian temple, I went to Indian temple. The priest was very nice. He says yesterday was the transition day. These are called shadow planets, like how you have lunar eclipse, solar eclipse. Right. The solar part, which is the head part, they call it, of the snake. They call it snake time. Okay. okay. So the the head part is called ragu in India. The tail part is called K2. And the, that's a lunar eclipse. The tail is lunar eclipse. So lunar eclipse will be frequent, right? right. So like eclipse is not frequent. So you know the difference. So when the solar part, the Rahu, I didn't realize this. Like, you know, this priest said it in a very nice way. He says yesterday was the transition. So like many um, zodiac signs is going to be now switch it over so whatever was holding you back you're going to get a better results in future yesterday the transition happened so they did like a prayer for the whole day they celebrated the temple they did like multiple like you know celebrations and stuff and also to pacify like you know the these energy shifts he says the difference between Ragu and Kedu which I didn't know because I used to think of it differently my my uh, understanding was Ragu is the collector of karma. That is, he stores, like, you know, all the deeds you do, good and bad, and he's the banker. That's the way I think of it. And the K2 is the dispenser. But the K2, because he's a snake guy, he'll only dispense the bad parts. Right. So he's like a punisher. He's like, you know, always judging. You know, so he says, oh, you got into this because you are a bad guy. You know, so he never gives you credibility. But he will punish you. Like how you do hundred nice things, nobody comes and tells you, but one small thing you do wrong, people rush in oh, to yeah. blame. Right? It's kind of like remember this, it's shadow people, you know. These are the tail end of the snake. They can wag their tail, but they have no brain. Okay. It's like corporate, right? Corporate. The head is watching, the tail is doing most of the blaming, right? Right. But they also, if they are credible, they should also do both sides fair. You know, if you're going to come and blame me, give me also the kudos, right? But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. But so, the switch is happening yesterday. Yesterday, the switch happened. So, the priest said it in a very nice way that he says, Rahu allowed you to immediately enjoy the results of what you do. And the his whole purpose is, hey, buddy, you did a great job. Here, come. Like, you know, I'll give you a treat sit down like you know have a drink with me or meaning like what i'm saying is you moved all the furniture you said right. and you know it would have been nice if somebody come and said here come on sit down with me like you know like let's enjoy like you know this uh, cake together or something right that's the big guy ragu that's why undercover boss they identify the guy who's doing good and they immediately give you a bonus right, right. but the undercover boss ha happens once in 20 years maybe. Uh, all right, but the K2 on the other hand, he um, the way he would do is make you feel guilty for enjoying the cake. Hey, you have one more furniture to do, go eat and then come and enjoy. So he kind of like always gives you this guilt feeling, right. so he doesn't allow you to enjoy whatever you do to full merit. So he says you need to find a balance. So I like the way he said it because instead of saying this is a collector of karma, this is a dispenser of karma. He said, uh, like, you know, they, they work in balance. One guy is always going to make you feel guilty. Oh, you're a big tummy. You shouldn't be eating cake. Or you have or you have this bad attitude. You shouldn't be enjoying it. So K2 is a guilt guy. You always find fault with whatever you have to do in life. Whereas Rahu always says, Bobby, you earned it. Come on, right? Sit down. Or enjoy your labor. So remember, these factors are all. If they don't recognize you from today, because the transition happened, I give you permission to come and tell them 
hey, how about all the chairs I moved? Did you like it? See, what I'm saying is don't wait them. Wait for them to recognize you. Right. Recognize yourself first. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? So, and to paraphrase, I'm going to come back to my life. Today morning, right? Yesterday, the, my husband uh, ha, is a rule keeper in our home. No matter whether it's my weekend or his weekend, we have custodial sharing. This weekend was my weekend. But so he mandates we need to go to a movie in the morning. With him. So, you know, so we went to the movie. I really wanted to clean up my yard. So I mowed the yard. I did bonsai trees. I trimmed it. Very nice. I go eagerly tell him. I worked like five hours in the yard. I said, Keith, can you come and take a look? No, I don't have time. I'm too tired. I'm going to go to bed. Okay, Keith. So then the priest told me, it's very important because it was transition. He says, can you come, like, you know, finish the celebration with us? So actually, 8 o'clock, I leave for the temple. Because the temple celebration finishes around like 9, 9.30. So I stayed, then finished my celebration. My teacher says, that I need to watch his meditation at night. It's very important for me. So I come home, 10.30, we did meditation. I go to bed around 11.30, 12. Morning comes up. The first thing I really, like, you know, wanted my husband to see how the yard came out because he always complains, I don't do a good job in the yard. Even though I work very, very hard, he only can see a little piece of what I do in my life. So he always will complain. But something or other, you know, so today, the first thing, right, 6 o'clock, because he leaves for his AA meeting at 6.30, so I have to catch him between 6 and 7. So I rush and I said, please, please, can you take a look? No, I don't have time. I said, please, please, please. He says, okay, provided you wash the dishes. I was so sad because my kids had a sleepover, a sleepover. Yep. he and his friend ate, and dishes were the same. I cried. Actually, I cried because the amount of work it but takes. In a situation like that, mm -hmm. right, that for him to recognize you, you have to do something for him. Yeah. You call that love. No, the thing is, he. it's not about love. Remember, love is unconditional. I mean, his, love is, his love for him and my love for him is different because I love him like God would. Okay. Right. See, like, uh, you know, sometimes people see what they want to see. See, plant is not its, uh, its big thing. What, uh, another way I can tell it is, if you do not wash, I have to wash. So I feel stressed. Like, this is the way I think for him because he's so compulsive. He has to have a clean thing. So it just, like, freaks him out. So before he goes, he would have washed it. Because I am interrupting him, that's the way I heard so it. So he is a COPD type of thing. Not he COPD, has... OCD. OCD, that's what it is, OCD. I, I always get a moment. Of I know, don't worry. My but but been... what I'm saying is, I'm not taking it against him, but I'm not a morning person. I sometimes don't even talk to him in the morning because this is what would happen. When we engage, he'll say something that hurts me. Because he didn't have time last night because he had to go to bed. And so I am making sure I work longer than him. And then I wake up a little early just so that I would take the five minutes from him. But he doesn't have the ability to recognize what I do. That doesn't mean he's a bad guy. But it just shows me that I am still looking for credibility. So I cried a little bit. And then I washed my dishes. He says, do you want me to go take a look? I said, no. But he still packed, like, you know, my, my drink. He gave me, like, snacks. The thing is, like, you know, he does it in his own way. But even now, if he comes and says, oh, honey, it looks good, the thing is gone for me. Right. doesn't yeah. matter, you know. It's like, like, you know, what had to go wrong went wrong already. Right. And even if he praises me now, it means nothing. So that's what Rahu Kedu is very interesting. I was thinking, I was so pleased with myself, I wanted him to validate it. And I could have just spared myself, you know, let him validate in his own time. I did it because I loved doing it, right. you know. So I'm telling you from my perspective, but exactly that was what was happening with you, right? You moved the furniture. You were so proud of it. You didn't ask for help. And you did everything beyond the call of duty and not even a single soul recognized. Right. 
But you know, that just shows they are a shadow people, you know. It's the people, shadow people always cast doubt in your life. So the sun shine through, you know. So this is what when I'm a, when I'm a, the thing my teacher says is the way the minute you wake up, how you greet the sun creates the attitude for the day. And I said, sun is going to come on. He said, let me have better attitude than what I think my day was about. I decided my attitude with my husband is I'm going to time him out today. I'm going to return his call and all that stuff because I don't need to validate him either. But at the same time, for the world. I'm going to have a good attitude. So kind of like what I'm saying to you is don't think about masking your pain with drugs. Like, you know, people go through. I Like for me, I'm doing it in another way. It's a codependent relationship, right? Like kind of like I wanted more recognition from him. And he has no time. It's okay, you know. Like maybe my time will be tomorrow. But what happened, happened. Hopefully we learn our lesson. Next time I wouldn't force it on him to come like, you know, take a look. I could have just, like, let it go, you know. I Because I have no friends at home, you know. My kids don't understand. But my, then my middle one you know, woke up and he came in. And he said, hey, Chris, it's important for you. Somebody can take a look. And he walked around and he saw what I did, you know. So I feel like, you know, one family member recognized, you know. So I feel that's what it's about. So uh, what I'm saying is next time if somebody doesn't give you credit, why is it? Like, you know, say, hey, I'm so happy that I could help you guys for myself to have a good time. You don't need to recognize, but at least you have taken care of yourself. Right. So, did Dr. Maguchi ever call you the other day? For what? Oh, so, uh, 